I'm Hunter. And this is the West 7th Wool Podcast. This is the podcast about what goes on in our local yarn shop, West 7th Wool, located in the Cultural District of Fort Worth. Texas. Texas. Did I do that right? Yeah, you did. Awesome. All right. What's going on? Not a whole lot. Uh, It's, well, that's actually a complete lie because we just got done with Small Business Saturday and that was, that was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. Um, And uh, before that was Thanksgiving. Yes, that too. That was a thing that happened as well. How many Thanksgiving dinners do we go to? I mean, I I have a hard time remembering anything prior to Small Business Saturday. We went to four Thanksgiving dinners. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, no. It was three Thanksgiving dinners and one Thanksgiving lunch. Yeah, that's true. That's Mm -hmm. true. It was a lot of Thanksgiving, y'all. Yeah. A lot. And I learned a valuable lesson. What lesson was that? Um, I have to cook potatoes. Yeah, yeah. I tried to get out of it. Our daughter was crushed <laughs> physically, emotionally, spiritually. But so I got the word that I needed uh, mashed potatoes for 60 mm-hmm. and then also mashed potatoes for another 25 mm-hmm. on another dinner. So I was like, I'm not going to make all this mashed potatoes. And I usually do, although not quite. Does she usually have 60 at that dinner? I mean, I feel like maybe not, not quite 60, but still, it's I got nervous. Be 50 plus. I got nervous, and I just ordered the mashed potatoes from Central Market. Um, really, the proper response would have been for you to cowboy up and just knock it out. Well, next year I'm going to have to because you know why? Nobody ate the mashed potatoes from Central Market. They didn't like them. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. I mean, you just set such a high standard with your uh, homemade... Yep. Mm-hmm. They Mash. all came back. They were they were lovingly crafted. <laughs> Typically, they are. <laughs> Who is that? Who's off camera? <laughs> I think she's in the witness protection program. We better keep her off camera for her, for her protection. Another thing that's new that happened is we are open on Mondays now. Yeah, that's right. Yay! So yeah, and we're still trying to feel out how to properly do the podcast going forward. Should we do it in the front? Should we do it I in think the we should back? Do it it's fine. I think this is working out just fine. Yes. So yeah, we'll we'll. Well, we have evolve. a studio audience. <laughs> yeah, should they be like applauding us at like intermittently? Yay! I can, I'm digging this. <laughs> you need to be louder on the laugh track, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Thanksgiving, I'm not going to get out of mashed potatoes again. That's lesson learned. No, but you know what? Um, I was talking to somebody, I think here at the shop, or maybe is at one of the myriad Thanksgiving parties that you we went a to. Lot of pe- we've seen a lot of a people. A lot of people. We've talked week. to a lot of people. And yeah, then, they, they just all blend together. Yeah, it's 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 just been a lot of <laughs> talking. Um, but somebody was talking about how there is apparently a machine that you can get now that's like a potato skinner thing. Was that you, Sandra? Talking about the potato peeler machine? Um, I don't think no. so. No, it was somebody, okay. but apparently it's like it's like the apparently it's like a salad spinner, but is for potatoes. Is there hot water involved? I think there's some kind of water involved. I'll look into. It. We'll have to look into it. But I yeah. do not want that for Christmas, just to tell you now. Okay, birthday it is. Do not <laughs> surprise me with a potato peeler. Birthday for it any is. any holiday. <laughs> no. It's a very fancy potato peeler. <laughs> it's an up jump potato peeler. <laughs> no. Although I did say that if uh, said daughter who was heartbroken about the not homemade crushed. mashed potatoes she was wanted them, she was going to have to help make them. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she, she will. All right. Do we need to, like, call Cook's children in advance and let them know about the situation? <laughs> Maybe. They are open on holidays. So. Yeah, they have to have somebody up there to suit her. <laughs> okay. So that was Thanksgiving and Small Business Saturday sales, yes. which was awesome. Now it's December, and we have the tree out. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody was very insistent on the tree being in the shot, so. <laughs> All right, what else? We do, we have classes this month, but very limited because it's the holidays and everybody's busy running around and doing things. And we're not even going to talk about them, really, because one of them's already started. The other one is completely it's full. full. So, but yeah. if it goes well, we'll do it again. So, yeah, 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 we'll see how that goes. And I ended up not calling it "Everyone Hates Brioche." And this is why you should too. It's just, it just seems negative. But I was even watching the um, if anybody watched the Knit Stars 
that Shelly Brander produces. Um, they had a um, someone, one of the knit stars was talking about how she loves knitting, but not brioche. Mm-hmm. She hates brioche. <laughs> like every right thinking individual. <laughs> I don't know. It's not bad. Eh. 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 I don't have a strong opinion about it either way, You've but at the same it. time, I've done it, but I've only but done it in a... you just did a swatch. Yeah, I, I didn't. I haven't done increases or decreases, or and I understand that that's where the uh, trickiness comes in. They're not even that hard. It's I think the edges are what do it for me. Really? Yeah, just getting the edges to look nice. Mm. All right, so we do have a couple of events this month. Yeah, okay, so besides the second and fourth Sunday, we'll have the spin-in as usual, but then besides that, we are going... What's a spin-in? The spin-in is when spinners show up on the second and fourth Sunday of the month. Mm -hmm. This month, they'll be the 8th and the 22nd, and And they show up typically between 1 and 4 and show up either with spinning wheels, drop spindles, whatever, Mm -hmm. and just come hang Mm -hmm. out for a little while. Yeah. All right, so besides that, though, uh, we are going to be having a Forest Fiber Arts Trunk Show December 14th which is a Saturday, and that's going to be going on all day. And who is Forest Fiber Arts? That is Nikki, and uh, she's super cool. She just recently moved to Alito, so she is a local yarn dyer to us. And that's, what, 20 minutes west of here? Yeah, ballpark. Yeah. So, uh, yep. Uh, One of our Thanksgiving dinners was in Alito. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was, actually. <laughs> all right, and then also we have a holiday cookie exchange party knit night. That's right. That's going to be on the 19th. There's going to be a cookie exchange. So if Uh, you would like, bring two dozen cookies to swap out. So bring some cookies, eat some cookies, go home with a few cookies. mm -hmm. And, you know, you're not obliged to bring cookies. Just Hunter, what cookies are you going to bring? Um, Crap. Toll House. What? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure that out. I get t- cookies from Central Market, maybe some oh, of those. Oh, maybe you should bring those cookies. There you go. Yeah. And then, um, but then also, you know, fun drinks. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not insisting. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. You know, without, what was that that we had at Thanksgiving? The spice a Spiced cider? rum. Yeah, spice cider. That was really good. That was yeah. really good. So. But um, we also have um, poinsettias ready to go in the fridge. Oh, really? Which is champagne and cranberry juice. Yeah, that sounds real fun. Um, so I mean, it'd be great. I'm sure it'd be great. Yeah, believe me, he wouldn't turn his nose up at champagne. <laughs> I guess it's close enough to New Year's, right? It is, actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, and then uh, on December 28th, uh, at the end of the month, we are going to be having our end-of-year sale. Yeah. Yep, so that's going to be shop-wide. 20% off everything. There we go. Group applause. Uh, 20% off everything in the shop. Uh, so that the next day... The next day, the next three days after that, we are going to be closed for end of year inventory. Yeah. Hang, no. hang on. Sad hang on. face, sad oh. face. I was waiting for the applause. There was no more applause. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're going to shut it down 29th, 30th, and 31st of December. And just count Three everything. days, just count it's all of the things. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be thrilling, y'all. It's going to be amazing. And But then uh, we will be back open January 1st, which will be a Tuesday. No, mon- yes. And then we will be open Mondays in January. And going forward, yeah. yes. Forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where's our new business card? So we got new business cards, but on the other ones, we're going to have to scratch out close Monday. Oh, Sandra's doing that right now. Yeah. <laughs> Input 10 to 6. Mm-hmm. Yay. We got here this morning and they're just like hanging out and knitting and then we're like, oh, by the way, let's do all this work. (laughs) Insert sad face. (laughs) Womp womp. All right. So what new things do we have? New things. We've got a few new things to the shop. We have got new bags, y'all. We thought, you know, Christmas coming up, we need to make sure that our bag wall has plenty of great options yeah we have these cool magner waxed canvas bags mm-hmm. those are... i really should these are what they look like empty but we have a couple over there that are full of full of projects mm-hmm. this is from magner which is in is it georgia or atlanta the atlanta is in georgia so oh, i mean you're right <laughs> <laughs> okay sorry <laughs> do you remember what they're from where are they from? I think uh, sure, yes. 
All right, they're wax. They're a wax canvas kind of short bag. I had plenty of time to look up where they're from, but I still don't know. We're just running with Atlanta, Georgia, and if that's not true, then I, I mean it is true. now. They'll I have to move true. there. All right, it's fine. So here are the bags. Um, these come with a, an optional and additional shoulder strap too. So those, I don't, I don't think we had that before, did we? We did. We did actually. We um, did. I didn't mm -hmm. get one on mine. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you chose not to. I think the bags were a little different last time oh. in that the ones with the strap did not have these side straps, but this time around they just no, made they them do. all the same and then you can get the so optional So here is one strap. in use. The project in it. And this is what it looks like. So empty. it's nice and deep. Is this mm -hmm. a blanket? Yes. Nice. You can hold a whole blanket. So there we go. It's got pockets inside. It's got grommets that you can feed your yarn through. Mm -hmm. And there's not a zipper pocket in there. No, there's not a zipper pocket. Oh, I'm going to see all this stuff Kristen has in her bag. <laughs> okay, so this <laughs> stopped going through her bag. <laughs> Okay, we've got several uh, colors. There's charcoal. Pencil? This is green. <laughs> You're you lost bag permission, lady. Um, but how many balls of yarn in here? Wait, let me think. see. Good lord. One, two, three cakes of yarn in no, here. No, I think this is bluestone. This is pretty. And the brown. Notions. All right, lots of stuff you can put in there. All right. I'm sure Kristen's feeling like violated <laughs> you, at this point. <laughs> okay. Right, what else? Okay, so also uh, while we are on we bags, we bags. also got more bags. We got um, Quince and Co had a re-release of their uh, wax bag as well, which are these right here. Those are nice. Do you want to take a couple? Yeah, I'll take the camo one. No, you don't get the camo one. I'm talking about the camo one. You get this blue one. <laughs> Yeah, Twig and, uh, Twig and Horn. Horn. Although that is their parent company. Yes. That's why he's confused. I'm not confused. I just know where I got it from. <laughs> <laughs> he's always confused. Also not true. Oh, okay. That's true. Yeah. And so Twig and Horn, which is owned by Quince and Co. Quince and Co. Mm -hmm. And they come in several different colors, I think five. And, and we these got all of them. do have a zipper pouch inside. Now this one's great though. This is like this camo bag and we've only got one of them left in the shop. I don't know if we'll be able to get them again. So, I mean, if anybody were to want this bag, they should really go after it <laughs> now. This is a really nice navy one. It would go with everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like that dark leather. Did the other ones have this dark of leather? Um, it varies. For example, these oh, this has like a almost, black. Almost black leather. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Very nice. All right, those are our bags. Those are the bags. Okay. Uh, the other thing that's not new, but it's tis the season to talk about. We only have a few of these left. Mm -hmm. Are the Brew City Yarns Twelve Days of Christmas punch boxes. Yeah, if you feel like punching something this holiday season, I mean. And there was some debate as to whether um, you do it 12 days before Christmas or 12 days after Christmas. My opinion is it's your yarn and you do what you want. Yeah, I know <laughs> some people, for example, were like, you know, as soon as day one of December hits, I'm going into it. That's so. an advent calendar. That's like your normal, regular advent calendar. And you know what I saw that I did not buy, but... Uh, I wasn't in time to buy it. There's an advent calendar for cats. Trader Joe's has some oh, really? cat treats inside. Interesting. You know what you could do though is you could also do like every other day and that would extend it out from 12 days to 24 days which would be... Why would I want to do that? I don't know. So you could enjoy it all you December long. You could buy two of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not everybody's you, Amy. <laughs> And if you're in the shop and you would like to know what's in them, I do have, um, I, I can show you, I can show you what's in them. Here's a little sneak peek of the yarn inside. But if you don't want to know, I won't show you. But if you're here in shop or, you know, you want to know, we can, we can show you what the yarn is inside. For a price. No. <laughs> All right. What else? What else do we have? Okay, uh, we have also got some new yarn in. Oh yeah, some new monos. It's I say new, but it's really restock. It's a restock of monos. You have the lace weight there, and this is what it comes to us 
He comes to us in these big, giant, I think there's five, five in here? Yes. Five hanks of yarn in these big, giant. I know precisely how many hanks are in here. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. And then uh, uh, everybody here twists them up and yes, put yes, them on yes, the shelf. Yes, yes, that's quite right. Yes, that's quite right. Sorry. <laughs> So what weights do we have? Okay, so we've got lace weight, we've got fingering weight sock yarn, we've got worsted weight. And these are from Uruguay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The hence Manos del Uruguay. Uruguay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fun stuff. What are you working on, honey? Oh, do you have anything finished? I did not finish anything because I have been working like a fool during uh, the holiday sale and you know what during and I had a couple of actual true days off during Thanksgiving you said that you know was what nice. I did you know what I did I ate I ate but also nothing mm -hmm. I didn't do nothing anything I just, it was glorious we we saw a movie we did see a movie yeah we saw Frozen 2 there's a lot of singing in Frozen 2 I don't know 2. how you would think that there would not be there's a lot of singing <laughs> Why you weren't prepared for that? Good lord. <laughs> In hindsight, we should have checked out that Knives Out movie. <laughs> we had our kids with us. Although I do want that to see that. looks like a modern day clue. I think it might actually be okay Ooh. for them. But, oh, is it rated R? I think so. I don't think and it is. And even Clue, I mean, they've seen it, but there's some innuendos that they probably, thank goodness they don't understand. <laughs> Unless they do. They don't. I finished something. I finished this brioche bandana cowl mm -hmm. by, um, no, I'm not going to remember her name. I'll flash it on the screen. Okay. I think it's Patrice. Anywho. It doesn't matter because I flashed it on the screen. Anywho, it's a nice cowl. It's very squishy. This is worsted weight. She actually has them. She's written patterns for fingering DK and worsted weight. This is worsted weight. Um, it knit up pretty fast. You start in the round on a 16 inch um, circular needle and you don't have to do any fancy double color cast on. No Italian two color cast on for you. You just do whatever cast on you want. Um, and then you start your two color brioche. And then after you uh, knit in the round, you do some decreases and you go flat. You knit flat front and back. So it's reversible. It's really squishy and warm. And it would look great in any color. And we'll be talking about it in our Everybody Hates Brioche class this Saturday. Mm -hmm. Aptly named. Aptly named. Everybody hates. You know what? I'm going to put it on real quick. Do it. Okay. Rock that thing. It's nice. It's nice. I'm getting I'm getting some approval. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. But it's very warm. You have to keep it on. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So are you working on anything? Yes, I am working on something. I, I, uh, I'm working on a sweater, and I... I made I made about two rows or four rows until I was like, you know what, this sure is not socks, and I missed my socks. So you cast on socks. So I cast on socks, two at a time, toe up. That's cool. Yeah, that's a thing I did. What yarn is that? I bet I have no regrets. It is Life in the Long Grass. What color? The color is Moorland. I have that. Uh huh. I want to make a sweater. Are you? Yeah. You want to have a race? I'm busy. <laughs> I'm always busy. No, I'm not going to race you. <laughs> Sweater versus socks? I don't care. Okay. All right. I ain't got time for that. All right. I am working on um, my I Am Dragon shawl. I Am Dragon 3 shawl. I really haven't got much further than last time, so there's not really much to see. This green yarn sure does make me happy though. Um, so I only have three little scales there. I need to get back to it. You know what it reminds me of? What does it remind you of? Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is flipping adorable. <laughs> He's so cute. 
and like the memes are out of control Somebody's right now. Somebody's already crocheted a baby yoga. Did yeah. they really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. I think we need one. Mm-hmm. I need one. Baby. And you know what the new meme is? Mm. Baby Yoda drinking soup is the new Kermit drinking tea. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I've just seen him like holding up pictures of like the new Tesla truck that looks like a six year old Drew or something. Have you oh, seen you that? had to get that in. You had to get I had that to get that in. in. You had Sorry. to get that anti Tesla so- drive in. Sorry. Yeah. And then the other thing I'm making is um, this. Uh, it's called, what is it called? Wings of Love. It's a shawl that looks like wings. And a friend of mine wanted it in all black, so I'm doing it. And I'm almost finished. Um, I'm just adding, you You do like single crochets up to define, um, like, I can't, to define the wings better, mm-hmm. to define the feathers better. So I'm just doing that all the way around, and then I might do just a little edging on top, and then it'll be finished. You know, um, this is on Ravelry as Wings of Love, and um, they have it in different colors, like um, not all a solid color, and I think the other colors really bring out the pattern really nicely because it's hard to see all the really fun details that are in there. Some crocodile stitches, some other really fun crochet stitches so it's a nice crochet sampler type thing and um it kind of fits better in the wingspan shawl than the knitted one is it due to the added weight no it just drapes over your shoulder like a proper shawl whereas the other one is so shallow in the back this one's got mm-hmm. a bit more back coverage show so it go it covers better it's not shallow you're shallow <laughs> All right, we have a giveaway. (laughs) All right, our giveaway was... Oh, oh, it was all about um, what you were cooking for Christmas. Hang on, we forgot to talk about something else that's new to the shop. Oh, what? Oh, the knitting the card game. Yeah, we did did Uh, bring those in. We did, we did. And we actually have uh, a copy of this for ourselves. We got it before we even brought them into the shop. So we've played it and it's great, it's fun. It yeah. was a good time. We played it with our kids and yep. they enjoyed it too. So I mean, it's um, it's just a good uh, thing to get as like a holiday gift or something along those lines. If you know lines. a hardcore knitter, mm-hmm. they would really like it. Yeah, and even our kids, I mean, our kids know how to knit, but they're certainly not hardcore into it, and they picked it up just fine, so. Mm. Although they hear us talking about the terminology all the time. This is true. Like blocking and projects and mm-hmm. stuff like that, so. Mm-hmm. All right, so we have some Christmas socks to give away. Our question last time was, uh, what do you cook? What's your favorite thing to cook mm-hmm. for? For Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, and you mm-hmm. guys cook some amazing things. One I was really interested in and I would love to try sometime is the Russian garnet salad. Huh. Did you see that one? Um, briefly. So what all goes into that? I looked it up. It's really cool. Um, a lot of stuff goes in it. (laughs) It's like, um, I mean, it's Russian, so it might have a little bit of beets, but, um, potatoes, onions, Mm -hmm. And all topped off with, um, I think, eggs, and then all topped off with pomegranate seeds. I'm potentially digging this. And then I think it's based on uh, a novel, a Russian novel, about a garnet bracelet. Garnet bracelet salad, that's what it is. Huh, interesting. It looks really good. Wait, so the pomegranates are baked? No, none of it's baked. It's all cold. I think it's got chicken, yeah. too. It's okay. got chicken. Okay, that's, that's I'm It's like a layered, enthusiasm. in a bunt pan, or, and then you... Or maybe not a no. You put glass in the middle and you layer it, and then you. So you said potatoes, though, right? So like cold yeah, potatoes. No, like sliced cooked potatoes. And chicken. That and sure egg. is a thing that exists. It looks interesting. It, it's sure. Would try. <laughs> Would consider trying. All right. So who's our winner for? The unique sock okay. self-striping kit. Let's find out. Um, I've oh, got I the ha- podcast up. If you want to do the number, number generator. Number generator, yeah. Go low. Oh, how many do we have? Uh, we have got a total of 36 comments. Awesome. That's a lot. Good job, everybody. Ooh, 34. Ooh, so I'm just going to do the second 
the <laughs> third to last. Okay. Um, that is going to be Shannon No Testing. Shannon! Yay! Yay. Congratulations! So, uh, if you would like us to mail this to you, we certainly can. Just give us an email or a call. and um, Or you can come and pick it up anytime you like. Yep. Whatever works best for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. And thanks for commenting and watching. Mm -hmm. All right. Our next giveaway is... Drum roll. More Boom. Christmas socks. All right. Yay. This is the Regia by Schattenmeyer. Candy color. Yeah, we're... Four ply. 75.25. Yep. Holds up great. I love Regia. They, mm -hmm. It makes really sturdy socks. Yeah. And that's like huge as a sock knitter because it... As a is sock really wearer, as, as a, a knitted, knitted, hand knitted sock Yeah, wearer. one of my favorite socks I was wearing the other day, and after, when I took them off, I found a hole in them, and it was like... <sighs> All of your socks are wearing thin. I know. I need to... I mean, and that's this is what why you I do when you wear socks. socks. That's why, you know... That's why you always heard about people darning things all the time. Exactly. Because... And I, for one, am a nylon uh, guy because nylon does definitely help keep things together when they're wearing things. It does, so. but they still they still wear. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> when you wear them every day like you do, mm -hmm. they're still going to – you're still going to have yeah, to Yeah, it's just part of it. But Regia holds up really well. Yep. All right. So what questions should we ask? All right. Christmas related. What you got? Ooh. What do you like to cook for Christmas? I don't like to cook anything. <laughs> Certainly not potatoes. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, do you have any special holiday plans? Oh, oh, oh. What, what? about cookies for a cookie party? What's your favorite cookie recipe? That's a great idea. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. Thanks, Kristen. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite cookie recipe if you don't bake cookies? What are your favorite cookies to eat? And if you don't eat cookies, what's wrong with you're you? You're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being pretty hypocritical as I say this, though. That's right. Hunter doesn't eat sweets. <laughs> Does that make him a monster? Yes. <laughs> there have been days up here where I've may have been called that. So I mean, you're not wrong. Also, okay. The other, I, I did make a couple other things for uh, Thanksgiving dinners. One was mm -hmm. um, green beans with almonds and garlic. And the other, Evelyn and I made together, my daughter who loves these candied pecans. And so she and I made these candied pecans together. And we had some left over. We brought them back to the house. She ate some the next day. I ate some the next day. And then she went back to find the rest of them. And they were gone. Don't, don't. Da. Was it a cat? No, we assumed you ate them. No. Because <laughs> the I... container was in the dishwasher. No, it was not me. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> Maybe could... your other child who hates nuts ate them. No, no, no. You would know what it might have been, actually, is I think I might have come across a container and it was like practically empty, like mm -hmm. maybe just a half dozen or so left. Mm -hmm. I may have dumped it and put the container in the. It was almost empty. You know I have an aversion to sugar. I just naturally is like, ew. She was looking forward to eating the rest of those. My bad. I did not realize. I'm sorry. I would have put. I would have just monster, left it. monster, true monster. It's true. I mean, I am. I am. All right, that's it for us because it's getting really hot, and I have to take this off. No, you have to leave it on. Rest of the and day. And scene. Bye, y'all. <laughs>